Uh, Leo, it's been your first month on Wearside. It seems to have flown by, but how do you reflect on, on your first month here? Yeah, it's been an enjoyable month. Uh, obviously, a lot of change, um, to say the least. But yeah, it's been very enjoyable. Getting game times, of course, the results haven't always been with us, but I think we're getting to a place now where I think it's going to make it get better. Yeah, you've been thrust straight into the action, really. It's been quite the baptism of fire. Has that been a big adaptation for you? Yeah, I think like body wise as well. Like your body's not used to playing mm-hmm. twice or three times in a week, so. Just getting getting out on the pitch and getting ready for for games is probably the biggest thing for me. And uh, yeah, done done well so far. So hopefully, just keep going. Do you, do you feel as though the fans have got a real glimpse of what you you're capable of? You know, you can play in various positions across the defence. You feel as though they've got yeah, a I think at times, but I think I know I have a lot more to give. You know, um, and I think that would just come with a bit more time. And of course, when the team is probably not performing as well as well, it's hard to hard to do that but I think yeah for sure I have way more to give as well. This this amount of, of game time as well it's come in such a short period but I guess that's what you would have hoped for when you first made the move as well. Yeah of course as many games as I can play I'll, I'll be happy but uh, yeah definitely I saw hammies here and there and a bit of an ankle problem but yeah no for me it's, it's very enjoyable you know that's what you dream about doing um, and playing as many games as you can is the best thing. And when you when you first came into the club you spoke about how this is a young group and you feel as though you'd feel like you could slot straight into the the atmosphere of the team as you feel as though that's happened then yeah uh the group didn't disappoint me at all you know it's a very young group it's very open um and it made it really easy to like settle in and for me it feels like i've been here for a long time now so i think that's a good thing as well just feel a part of the group and part of the guys you've already touched on the the recent results um, in the last few games, obviously not what we would have liked, but within that, has there been lessons as well for you and the young group? Yeah, I think we show a glimpse of really promising um, plays, but then I think it's just puzzling the game together, you know, because I think we started a couple of the games a bit slow, and then we come out in the second half and basically had to dig ourselves out of um, of the game. But um, yeah, no, I think if we can puzzle the games together, then I think it'll be real, real good. And yeah. in terms of you know the ambitions of the team as well, it's there's a big gap to the top six, but still plenty of time to, to yeah, play. Well, it's now twelve games left, and if it can happen in twelve games, in it. So I think for us, if we can just get some results um, and piece piece together our our style of play, and yeah, maybe be like how do you say it? Like yeah, we're just not be so naive at times, maybe. Um, and yeah, I think if we if we get that thing right, then I think it's real promising. And up next, Norwich City. Um, doesn't take it easier, does it? No, it really doesn't. It really doesn't what you're expecting. No, I think they're a very good team. They're a team in form as well. So uh, I think for us, we want to play the best people and have the best game. So we're going to be up for it for sure. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good game.